क्वेश्चन इज फ्रॉम हिमानी नमस्कार सदगुरु एज समन हु मेक्स आर्ट आई वॉन्ट टू नो इफ माई आर्ट कैन सपोर्ट मी इन गोइंग बियॉन्ड माई टेंडेंसी दिस कॉम्पिटिशन है Or does it get reiterated in expression? What is the right way to approach art making? <coughs> Just now, today, they delivered a dozen canvas frames to me because I'm supposed to be painting in the next few days. <laughs> so here, with competition. So, should art be my expression or should it be something else? See, I think just recently I spoke about this. In one of the conversations that we had here of three, four days ago, lot of very tortured human beings have been doing artwork. Yes, I'm not saying they should not, but I'm saying this has been the history of art. And uh, if you look at some of the art, I went into somebody's home, a very, uh, very, very rich home. Big one, like five feet by five feet kind of artwork. And there were some paint strokes at the back without any particular purpose, like this, like that, different colors. And there were over two hundred this big. I I'm telling you it's this big, clearly over seven inches long, thick nails, just hammered randomly. So I walked into the house and as you enter, on the right side this thing was there, I said, <laughs> what are these nails and this stuff? Uh, no, it's an expression. <laughs> if uh, this is what is happening in your mind, you should not express a thing. <laughs> should a human being not find expression to some struggles that they're having within themselves, they should… they should go sit in a forest or a desert and sing their heart out, all the pain. But you should not spill it on the society. They got enough troubles already. <laughs> if you have something positive, something wonderful to say, yes, or if you're depicting maybe some struggles of the society itself, Tch, okay? But your nonsense, at least this is my way of looking at life. If ever some nonsense comes up in me, I think it's my business never to spill it on anybody. So, you got little, not that virus, some other little and you feel like spitting. Spit on somebody, is it? Hello? You… you… when you cough, this is a dry cough, this virus doesn't give you phlegm. You have some phlegm. So because this is your expression right now, you spit on this guy who is sitting here? What kind of expression is that? <laughs> so whether it is phlegm from your throat or phlegm from your mind, in my opinion they're the same things. So should art be an expression of what's happening within you? If what's happening within you is so beautiful, please do it. Otherwise, art is generally a little reflection of creation. You caught some beautiful part of it, you can't catch the whole of it. You want to imitate the creator a little bit, in your own little way. Because you can't catch the whole cosmos, you talk… you caught one bit, maybe you just painted a leaf or a flower or a bird or a… something. 
not necessarily in its realistic form, maybe in a funny form, maybe it's a cartoon kind of painting, it's an abstract kind of painting, it is something else, it's okay. But whatever you do are only images that you've gathered from what's around you, there is nothing else for you. So it's important, especially if you are a... I don't know, if you are a well-known artist and every... everybody is going to look at it, it's very important that it causes the right kind of things in people, something that will enhance their life, not something that will drive them to some madness. This nail painting, I just couldn't figure out. I spent some time in front of it trying to understand, am I missing something, if there is something, some deeper meaning in it. <laughs> so, Art is just our... because we are feeling little jealous of the creator. We also want to do something. Everything has been created so fantastic, actually one lifetime is not enough to pay attention to it. But we also want to act up a little bit, it's okay, human beings have the right to do that. But if you are a tortured human being, please don't spill your torture on other people. If you're a tortured human being, you must withdraw. This is what I would say. Oh, if I withdraw, my torture will go up. It will either go, go up or you'll get cured. One of these things will happen for sure. Because this is important for us to understand. A social situation, whether it is the small unit of the family, or larger society, or the nation, or the world. Human beings have many problems. Whether within the family, within the society, within an institution, wherever, it's important for us to understand that we present our best to everybody. This is important. Oh, should I me? should I pretend? No, you, I'm saying you must fix yourself. I'm not saying if you're tortured, you must be smiling at everybody. I'm saying bloody fix yourself, why do you have to pretend? If you can't fix your thought, your emotion, your torture, if somebody else is torturing you, you can't fix it, that guy has to fix you, the nails. <laughs> but if you're torturing yourself, ah, you can stop. Oh, is it that simple? It is. Why do you think I'm wasting my life on you teaching this inner engineering all over the place? Because I thought you'll bloody fix yourself. It has everything to fix yourself. Because, you know, so should I talk about... should I talk about my torture? Hmm? Should I? Oh, many years ago, thirty-nine years ago, Suddenly I realized, it doesn't take anything to be ecstatic. If I don't mess with myself, with my mind, I'm ecstatic. Then I thought, within two and a half years, I'll turn the entire world ecstatic. But it took me some time to understand how invested people are in their miseries. They're carrying their bloody misery like their wealth. To make them understand that your misery is not wealth, it's filth. So don't enshrine that in artwork, your filth. Don't keep throwing it on other people, your filth. Your misery is your filth, whether you like it or not. I know cinema, art, this, that might have elogized suffering. Religions have elogized suffering in a big way. This happened. Shankar and Pillai and his wife were driving Ford Mustang, they just bought... they were living in Texas. They bought a Ford Mustang, 600 bhp and it's quick and it doesn't have the controls of a Ferrari. Am I saying... I'm making a mistake? I'm... I have to... <laughs> it has about the same kind of power but doesn't have the same kind of control. 
So Shankaran be a pillai being, uh, wanting to impress his wife, roar, made it roar. Uh, before they went into the top gear, they reached heaven. <laughs> so in heaven, they welcomed them and they looked around, everything was beautiful. So they inquired, is there golf in heaven? They said, yes. And uh, can we see? Yes, fabulous place, fantastic gardens and uh, great looking golf course, everything. So they were... the angels were driving the couple through this beautiful terrain. Then they saw there was one pit full of fire and a few people were burning and screaming. They said, what is this? Uh, they said, no, they're religious, you know. They like it that way. <laughs> so heaven provides what you like <laughs> without suffering. Uh, these things don't work. So a whole lot of elegizing of suffering has happened. Religion is the first culprit, next comes art, next comes music. All these things have done these things that suffering is a good thing. Literature, European literature, oh. Uh, intellectually it's wonderful. I've gone through all that Dostoevsky, Tolstoy and uh, Camus and Kafka, oh. What suffering, unbelievable suffering. Somehow elegizing suffering, that suffering is the only way you can be profound. See, this is the truth with most human beings, pain is the most profound thing in their life. Joy is not so profound, love is not so profound, they've never tasted profoundness of ecstasy. Pain is the most profound thing, if you don't understand what I am saying, take a pin and just poke yourself <laughs> You know, it's very deep, just a pinprick. Your most, let's say, your dearest friend simply poked you with a pin. Friendship just went boof, <laughs> one pinprick. It will take a lot of rebuilding, otherwise it's gone, one pinprick. That is how profound pain is. To make your blissfulness more profound in the pain, it will take a little bit of work on you. That's why we gave you the tools of inner engineering. If every day... No, I know you are... On the darshan day, maybe you are doing some practice and coming and sitting in front of me. <laughs> If every day all dimensions of what inner engineering is, if it's in practice every moment of your life, then you will know profoundness of ecstasy which is way beyond pain, way beyond. That is why the man will allow the scorpion to sting. Not that there's no pain, scorpion gives you oof, your whole nervous system will go crazy if a scorpion venom enters you. But when your ecstasy is deeper than that, it's just one more thing. So that needs some work. Till that happens, I would say, let your art not be an expression, let it be an appreciation of some aspect of nature, people, whatever. You may not like it, many artists may not like it, just my opinion, but I'm also an artist, I can have an opinion. New, new artist, but an artist, <laughs> at least I've sold one painting. <laughs> you will see many more. <laughs>